yeah, <laughs> I'm really late to this. <laughs> Normally I get late into some movies because I just forget to review them or just go along without reviewing stuff I've seen. Uh, but this specifically, being a brony and everything, I should have been reviewed this a while ago. It's been like a year since this, a little over, I don't remember exactly when the movie came out, but it's been a year since the movie came out. And I have been super duper excited to review this movie. I've been really excited for when this movie was it came out, it's like I liked the trailer. I thought the movie was very well looking, looking very well animated, and I was super excited to see where this movie was gonna go. Uh, also, with the fact that them connecting it and it, to the G five, and it also uh, I'm in G four, and with it uh, being the start of uh, G five, uh, obviously this movie was something that I had to look into, and I've actually seen it quite a few times now. Um, but let's go ahead and get into our synopsis. The unimaginable has happened. Equestria has lost its magic. Earth ponies, unicorns, pegasi are no longer friends and now lives separated by species. But idistic, I, an idealistically earth, I don't know how to say that. Idealistic earth pony, Sunny is determined to find a way to bring enchantment and unity back to their world, teaming up with an, with an open-hearted unicorn, Izzy. They pair to travel to faraway lands where they'll encounter likes of charismatic, brave Pegasus Pip and Zip and the ever-responsible fellow Earth Pony, Hitch. Their mission is full of misadventures, but these new best friends each possess their own unique and special gifts that may be just what the Ponyverse, the Ponyverse, what the heck, needs to restore magic and prove that even little ponies can make big difference. That is such a weird synopsis. It's <laughs> it makes the movie seem a lot more like it talks down to the audience than they do, which is not the case. There's not really any... Um, what, first things first, let's get into the positives. I'll get into a little bit of negatives. I don't really have much negative to say about this movie, um, but I do have some very, very... Um, the animation, first off, is beautiful. I really do not like it. This movie was dumped on Netflix because the animation is so good. I would have loved it if on the big screen, but it did get dumped on Netflix. Um, cause this movie did have a theatrical release planned, um, but maybe they, I don't know, maybe because the first My Little Pony didn't do that well or just they weren't, didn't run to this. I don't know what all the reason behind it was. Um, but this movie was really well animated. Um, the, the characters... Are I think the characters are funny. I think I think uh, specifically Sunny Hitch, um, Izzy and Zip, they all have their good moments. Pip is kind of just there, <laughs> but also it doesn't surprise me. You got to balance these characters. I guess someone was bound to get left out. Even though I feel like you still get some stuff with Pip. Um, I really do enjoy this movie though. I think the songs are really great. I don't know why I keep messing with my mustache. Um, I think the animation is really great. I think the music is great. I, I've listened to a bunch of the songs um, over and over again. I think our, I think this, there's really good comedy moments in this movie. I think a lot of people, I think I feel like people can enjoy this even if they're not bronies. Uh, I remember watching it actually with uh, some people that weren't uh, bronies, and they were they enjoyed it. And I've seen it a couple times with friend, uh, with friends, with family, by myself, and I've just watched it quite a bit of times uh, at this point. And the movie overall is a fun time. It is really well animated. The music is a lot of fun. Um, a little bit of the thing I do have a problem with those are villain Sprout. Um, isn't the best, and I also am not the biggest fan of like the pony tribes being separated. I'm not really a big fan of that because like after the way Friendship is Magic ended, and then like oh yeah, basically what Twilight did, everything was undone. 
Um, I feel like stuff is going to be getting explained with that with the series and the comics, if they're canon. I don't know if the comics are canon. Um, I know they weren't canon for G5, but maybe they'll be canon for G4. I mean, I, they weren't canon for G4. Maybe they'll be canon for G5. I don't know. Um, but the movie overall, I feel like they, they know what they're doing. Um, the side characters that they meet along the way, like uh, some characters that they meet in Sefer Heights and... Um, uh, I forgot uh, what the, the unicorn place is called. Um, but it's kind of a lot of them really are not really much memorable about them, uh, and like uh, so much plot can problems with this uh, with the coming the fact that it's connected to G five. One thing I really don't like about the movie though is the fact, and this also is going to carry into the rest of this franchise. The cutie marks being on one side really does bother me. I do not like that the cutie marks are on one side. I think that's really weird. Um, they, they said it was like an animation thing, but also you've got to explain. With it being connected to Friendship is Magic, you've got to explain that story-wise. You have to explain that story-wise. If you're not going to acknowledge that, that's going to be because like we know from uh, the actual show, the cutie marks are on both sides. But that's like me reaching to find things to complain about. I think the movie overall is a good movie. I think it's really well animated. I think it's well acted. The voice actors do really good jobs with these characters and voice them really well. Um, the celebrities, yes, obviously there's very much recognizable voices in here. Uh, James Marsden, Vanessa, Vanessa Hutchinson. Um, uh, okay, forgive me if I mispronounce this. Uh, key. Kimioko, Kimioko, I'm, I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, James Marsden, uh, Emily Perkins, Jane Kaczynski. There's there's a lot of really good voice actors in this movie. Well, not, well, not just voice actors, just actors in general. Um, and personally, like um, James Marsden is definitely not a character that I love, an actor that I love. I enjoyed him in the two Sonic movies, and but and I enjoyed him in this, and that's really my only thing with that. Um, my thing is with Hitch, I'm glad they didn't make him like the dumb sheriff. We'll talk more about that in other videos. Um, but I do like where they took this franchise and where they took these characters. The writing on Rotten Tomatoes is a 92% from critics, which is awesome. My Little Pony movie didn't even do that well, the the... the uh, and then audiences gave it an 85 I think I'd probably... I don't know if I'd say I enjoyed this more than the Friendship is Magic movie. I, I, I do really like the Friendship is Magic movie because I don't know. Cause, I don't know. I did really like the Friendship is Magic movie, but I don't know if it's better or not. I don't remember what I gave that movie in rating-wise. Um, but I do... And this is I haven't given this rating out in a long time. Uh, but this is going to go a four and a half. I don't think I've given a four and a half out in a long time. I don't think I've given a four and a half out in a long time. And I do really enjoy this movie. And that's not just the brony in me. Um, personally, maybe they shouldn't have connected it to G5. That does bring in more of the brony community, though. But I imagine most of the brony community was going to check this movie out anyway. But, uh, and also the opening. You do, get to, you do get some OG MLP in here a little bit. If, if, if you're hoping for some of that. You do get a little bit of that at the beginning of the movie. So... If that interests you, definitely. Um, what do you guys think of this movie? Uh, brony or not? I'd love to know if you're not a brony, what your opinions are. Because um, I did really enjoy this movie. I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's very well animated. I think I don't, I don't really know really what else to really say. Besides that, it is a fun time. And I think a lot of people, if they haven't seen it, I very much recommend it. If you are a brony or not. I think it's a very just well animated film in general. I'm talking a lot and really fast. But... I do think a lot of people haven't seen this one, and I do recommend it. Um, I don't really um, know much. Uh, I don't know what I'm about to say. My mind is blank. I will talk about more about the main series on the channel in a while, in a, in a bit. Um, like the actual series and stuff in the comics and maybe all that stuff. I don't know actually how I'm going to tackle everything in the franchise on the channel yet, so just bear with me for right now. <laughs> how long it took me to review this movie. Uh, but that's really all I've got to say to this re review, guys. Uh, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think of my the of the movie. Uh, and that's really all I've got to say. Um, 
More Creepy Frights is also to come, obviously. We still got a few more days of October. Uh, so keep an eye out for those videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.